Right, we're going to have a go at multiplying, multiplying fractions with whole numbers. Now, this looks very tricky, but it's actually very easy. So our success criteria for this, what do you do? Change the whole number into a fraction, multiply the top numbers, and then multiply the bottom numbers. Exactly the same as multiplying fractions like I showed you before. So how do you turn a whole number into a fraction? So if I had 3, all it is is 3 goes to the top part of the fraction, or 1. And these two meet and mean the same. If I had 9, it would equal 9 over 1. 126 would be 126 over 1. So that's how you change it into a fraction. And after you've done that, multiply the top, multiply the bottom. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So we've got 3 quarters times 3. So all I'm going to do, basically, is I'm going to turn this into a fraction. So you put it 3 over 1. So the question actually is this. And then all you do is multiply the top two numbers and then multiply the bottom two numbers. So 3 times 3 equals 9. 4 times 1 equals 4. And it's as easy as that. Let's try another one. 4 ninths this time 7. So we're going to turn this into a fraction. So we'll have 4 ninths times 7 over 1. Then multiply the top two, 4 times 7, 28. Multiply the bottom two, 9 times 1 equals 9. And our answer is 28 over 9. Now, if you want to have a go at this one yourself, so you've got 4 sevenths times 3. So I'll go through the answer in a second, um, if you want to pause. So in 3 seconds I'll go 3, 2, 1. So yeah, again, 4 sevenths, we change this into our fraction times 3 over 1 and then multiply the top two numbers 4 times 3 is 12 multiply the bottom two 7 times 1 is 7 done